Last week on Sailing Millennial Falcon, we explored the town and surrounding bays into Hay. Upon our return from a neighbouring beach, we discovered that our dinghy went missing from the dock. Thankfully, after racing around town, we discovered that someone had quote-unquote rescued it from drifting away after it came loose from the jetty. We then made a few small boat repairs and began the journey from Guadeloupe to Montserrat. Interesting day. Oh, we haven't broken anything, touch wood. It's just been um, a little bit more than we expected, as usual. Always, always, every time we leave port, it's like 25 plus knots. So we're getting pretty good at sailing around with. Holy crap! With 10 foot seas. Oh my god! Oh, I'm drenched! 10 foot seas oh. and uh, variable winds gusting to 30. But we're getting a bit of a well, pretty, I think I can say categorically that I've had a gutful of uh, gale force winds. You okay? Oh, I'm, so I'm so glad the camera was rolling for that. I'm absolutely wet. I'm so drenched. <laughs> I'm just not feeling So there's, there's your proof. It's just been like, it was supposed to be a pretty calm day. We were worried we wouldn't have enough wind. And in actual fact, we've got like, we've been reefed for, for the last six hours. We're two hours away, I can see Montserrat now. And we've got, we've had anywhere from 23 to 29 knots the whole way. And this seas are like, I don't know, some of these are like 10 foot waves. It must have been building over the last few days. So it's pretty rubbish. <sighs> Did you fart? Wow, you can smell that it's a big sulfur? Yeah, oh that stinks! Wow, it smells like rotting eggs. Wow. Are we allowed to, are we supposed to be sailing here? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that stinks! We are downwind, 30, wind, 30 knots downwind of, uh, of a live volcano pouring sulfur on uh, sulfur. Pouring, um, what did I say it was? Sodium. No, it is sulfur. Sulfur. Pouring a stinking cloud of sulfur down on us. It's disgusting. Pretty cool though. Really cool. It's some kind of devotion that brings me down. That without my love. We're just pulling in now to Little Bay, um, which is the main anchorage here in Montserrat. It's about 2.30 now, so we've managed to do about 47 miles in about 10 hours or so, which is pretty good. This is usually what we, when we go to a place or when we want some inspiration from uh, for where to go and what, what we want to visit, we'll always look at this. And I swear to God, we, we use this about, or like we bring this out about two to three times every week, at least. But it actually doesn't have Montserrat in it. Obviously, this island is just that's really, 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 really small. Well, it's a British colony, that's why. Well, it's in there being a French colony, yeah, so, that, too, yeah, 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 so there shouldn't be any difference. So we've got to lend these cruising guides. I'm still going to give them back, but I think these are Doyle's guides. Um, I think it's written by Chris Doyle, and they have all different ones for different parts of the Caribbean. So Montserrat, it says, As you sail past Montserrat, it is two, likely two different lands. The southern half is starkly beautiful, a harsh terrain dominated by the awesome Soufre Hills volcano, barren and smoking against the, against the skyline. And we certainly did smell that smoke. <laughs> certainly did. By contrast, the island's north is lush and green, with verdant mountains and handsome modern houses perched on the hills. We are in the north right now in Little Bay. Um, and it also goes to say that, um, that the original settlers here were Irish, were the Irish in uh, 1630. One of the reviews um, on the anchorage of this place was that they have, um, that they celebrate 
St. Patrick's Day here and that they have biggest celebrations, um, all the green and the gold is hanging around and I think I have a day off as well, which is quite interesting. It's the only other country or place in the world that um, celebrates St. Patrick's Day and has a day off other than Ireland. <laughs> what? Yeah. The only other place in the world that has a day off? Yeah. Other than Ireland? It said it in the really? review. Jeez. Indeed it did. Oh, I don't know. We start questioning these sources. Okay, yeah, it was a review, unverified review from somebody, so... <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? It could just be an interesting little tidbit. Thus far, with the exception of uh, a little bit of a pain in the ass anchoring, with the, uh, there's a channel that runs through here and it... <laughs> Other than that, sorry, <laughs> I went off on my rant and didn't finish my sentence. Other than that, the place has been really lovely. I, I really, really enjoyed the volcano coming in. The view was like, I mean, I've never seen an active volcano and that's like, it's just, it's cool. It's, it was really active today. Like, you know, we got a face full of sulfur coming in. It stank. It was bellowing out into the sky. It was awesome. Um, so I'd really like to get up there and see that a bit closer. And then we, we couldn't get it with the camera, but through the binoculars. We could see these, just these crevices, like the, the earth had just been torn apart. Just these big chasms had just opened up all the way down the hillside where the lava runoffs were. Um, so it'd be really cool to get up close. I don't know how close you can get, but still, it's a pretty magical place. Just had one more Aye. one to fill in and that's no, about no, it. We're not going to do a tour today. No, but we do have your card though. You did give us your card. The man on the jetty gave us your card. Oh my God. No thanks mate. Not today. No, thank you. We're just going just gonna to get some food today and that's about it. Thank you mate. Thanks. You too. Oh, relentless. Yeah, there are a couple of people just waving hysterically at us from when we were going into uh, on our dinghy and we were like yeah yeah hi hi we've seen you it was only later that we realized that there were um, like taxi touts more walking why are we not fitter than we well because we do this once a blue moon yeah we do like one big 26k hike every two weeks at the roundabout yeah. take the first exit our uh, little morning library session where we answered some questions, wrote some emails, made some uh, videos, downloaded some music, <laughs> generally did, uh, did some work on the, on the biz and now we're headed off to, where are we going? We're going to the tree uh, top, the hilltop, hilltop coffee house. Coffee house. Um, apparently has some lovely views and has a little bit of a uh, museum section um, about the, uh, the hur uh, not hurricane, sorry, the okay. volcano. So um, I've heard that the waffles there are quite good um, and I will be persuading Adam if we keep our budget can stretch to some waffles. Um, if not, I will admire them longingly and bug From Adam for the rest of this trip. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, uh, the museum part actually looks quite good. Alright, so uh, we just stopped to check the map and I read on our Google offline maps that um, the Hilltop Coffee House is actually closed. It closes at one o'clock. No waffles for you. Someone's trying to save me from a few thousand calories myself. there. Obviously, I'm <laughs> myself. <laughs> um, so we're gonna head back down and uh, go and see if we can um, maybe just sit by the beach. Well, see there's actually nice a little, little beer uh, bar. There's a little bar that we picked up. So when we come into a port, our new habit now is to throw up the Wi-Fi booster antenna and see what Wi-Fi we pick up. Because quite often you need the password. But if you go to the said establishment and you, you have a drink and you have dinner or whatever, and you get the password and you have Wi-Fi, for the remainder of the time, we did that perfect unison, for the remainder of the time uh, in that bay. So we found a sports bar that um, had a pretty strong signal from the boat this morning. So we'll go track that down and we'll, uh, yeah. we'll have, uh, I don't know, we're gonna have a beverage there and see if we can get, so, our, get jacked cups. into the matrix again. Uh, 
still there. It's fine. Did you see it? Oh, beautiful. Oh, good. You can see it. You can see the boat from almost all major roads on this island. Honestly, a boat, having a boat is like having a child. And I say this because I have absolutely no knowledge of having a child, so I can only assume it's like that. Very poor even you're away from it though. Like, you're still going to be there as well. See, I want to ask somebody that has a boat. I don't know. Lizard. Oh my god. <laughs> That's probably just the part moving and I'm scared myself. Skittish gear. Real <laughs> skittish. I want to talk to somebody who has a boat and a child. Yeah, exactly. And get their point of view. Yeah. We should be well prepared to, yeah, to sire the world's good. most temperamental and damaged child ever. <laughs> if our last six to 12 months is anything to go by, well, there's a sign to stop vlogging. <laughs> yeah. This is a happy day today. It is a nice day. Stock out again. The, uh, the sports bar wasn't open yet. It's uh, about three o'clock in the afternoon now, and um, they open up a little bit later than that. So we've just come back to the dinghy and um, our padlock's kind of been like salt watered shut so we're just trying to get that one undone and then we're gonna head back to the boat oh okay so we have woken up Actually, did we even go to sleep at all? <laughs> it was that rolly. <laughs> this is a, it was, so we're in Little Bay in Montserrat and it's the worst, one of the worst anchorage, anchorages we've been in. It's so rolly. And for some reason we've created, our boat has created this new creek just near the doorway to our bedroom. And it's all night in a, in a really like, when the waves come, it's just, you might better hear it in the background. It's very creaky. So it's really, really annoying, as well as also the motion as well. So we've actually been sleeping. We slept, tried to sleep here last night, and Adam never, ever sleeps here. He's adamant that he hates this sleeping position. But even he was like, yeah, all right, I'll try sleeping here tonight. So that just goes to show how incredibly rolly it is. Oh, you can definitely hear that creaking, I reckon. Yeah, I hope so. We're going to the observatory today. Volcano Observatory and Hilltop Coffee Caps. about to say, you've been filming my backside. I know, I have it, which is why I thought I'd just turn it around <laughs> to selfie morning. mode. no one really wants to see that. That's not why people came. I think there might be one person who came for that. Can I keep on walking? Will the shoes I wear all the men? So the monster rides delivering the goods on the, on the uh, hitchhiking. I know, it really is. Can I the end? Got a, uh, a lovely couple of gentlemen in their truck gave us a gave us a ride. Hitchhiking is uh, is primo here. All the way out to Hilltop. What's just happened? The coffee shop is closed. It closes way. on a Monday. <laughs> one day it's closed is the one day that we get here. Disaster. Uh, and it's not right. It smells so good. Oh, I'm Someone stopping for a, that something. place does Roddy's, I reckon. Oh, yeah, done. We're going. Right, we're going. We're going there. We haven't eaten breakfast yet, and it's about 11 o'clock. So we're like holding out for this place here to have some nice breakfast, overlooking like, views, and everything like that. But, oh. Let's go get a Roddy. After filling up on roti, a curry wrap popular around the islands, we made our way to the next destination, the Volcano Observatory. After a long period of dormancy, the Sufiri Hills volcano became active in 1995 and has continued to erupt ever since, destroying the capital city of Plymouth and causing half of the island to be declared an exclusion zone. 
Between 1995 and 2000, two-thirds of the island's total population was forced to flee. Residents who remained or have returned now live in the north of the island near Little Bay, where we are anchored. bumped into a friend who we'd met previously in Guadeloupe, who kindly offered to take us out on a ride on his subwing. Keen to try it out, we set off bright and early to his boat to have a go. <laughs> I'm like talking away while the key is in my mouth, trying to start the motor. <laughs> Deep down, it really takes you down fast. Okay. You just have okay. enough air to get back up. <laughs> deep enough okay. that it's going to be difficult, okay? You do like this to do corkscrew. Uh -huh. And sometimes you may end up upside down on the surface because you got to go pretty deep to do it right. Right, okay. Uh, and then that's a little tough to turn back over. <laughs> That was awesome. That was the best fun I've had in months. It's just, we're getting one, there's no question about it. <laughs> we're getting one. Oh. Now it's my turn. So we're sat out front of the library in Montserrat again trying to get this upload done. We're a, <laughs> we're a day late and uh, we're using the time while the upload is happening to, uh, to help, well to write our portion or to, to, uh, to essentially have a, a digital interview with a friend of ours who's um, writing for a, a sailing magazine in Australia. And Kiara is getting really angry at me because I wrote the answers and I write the way I would tell a story at a bar or at, and he's at such drinks. And it's shut up. <laughs> no, Adam, you're going off topic. Get it back to this. Get it back to the question that she's asked. And he's there, like, well, the sun was shining on a perfectly happy Quoting day. Benjamin exactly. Franklin. Like Adam <laughs> is irrelevant to the question. <laughs> he's just, he's just like, well, no, no, we'll delete that. But I'll write something else instead. So he's just started writing it. I don't know what he's saying. And his punctuation is atrocious. It's not atrocious. It is. Well, it's very hard to punctuate a conversation. But if bar. we be like to think, you might like. Oh, type that. quickly. I wonder all <laughs> I the pressure. I type faster, and I, I can the pressure here from. <laughs> A ladyship. But I, I, I don't anyway, we're almost finished. We're almost out of juice, so we're going to have to come back tomorrow, unfortunately. But um, yes, that's our day so far. We walked up okay. a hill and we wrote an article. All right, now I know what he's on about. Yeah, carry on. you got to figure yeah. that out. Got it. Got See, it. it's brilliant. Once you get past all the hazy punctuation, it's lovely. Yeah, Funny. sure it is. <laughs>